Teacher Pao. I'm Teacher Kat. And I'm Teacher Maricar. I'm Teacher Jekka. And I'm Teacher Sara. And welcome to Jekka's Kids Online! Ang buhay ng isang tao ay nagsisimula sa pagkabata hanggang siya ay tumanda. And today, kids, excited na ako ikwento sa inyo ang buhay ni Moises simula ng baby siya hanggang siya siya ay tumanda. Ready ka na ba? Apa! Moses rescues God's people. One day, the princess of Egypt saw a baby in the basket floating on the river. He's cute. I'll take him to the palace and call him Moses. Moses grew up in the palace, but he never forgot his the Hebrews. They were forced to be slaves for the Egyptians. One day, Moses saw a burning bush in the desert. Suddenly, a voice spoke aloud. My people are slaves, but I've chosen you to free them, God said. Holy smokes! God is speaking from a bush. As the Israelites journey, God came down and met Moses on the Mount Sinai. He gave Moses the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments were to help God's people to know how to live right. After 40 years of wandering, the Israelites finally had a new home. But Moses was old and it was time for him to be with God. Go and take the land that God has given you, Moses said. God led the people to the promised land. It was lush and green and full of ripe fruit. The Hebrews packed up their things and followed Moses on the Egypt. When they came to the sea, Moses lifted his walking stick. God parted the waters and the people crossed over. The people were free when the Egyptians tried to chase them. The waves swallowed them up. It activity time! Ito ang ating mga gagamitin. Papel, ball pen o lapis, at crayons. Sa unang bahagi, idodrawing natin ang unang chapter ng life ni Moses. Siya ay baby pa at nilagay siya sa basket dahil lahat ng baby noon ay gustong ipapatay ng masamang hari. Ang sumunod na chapter naman ng Life ni Moses ay noong kausapin siya ni Lord. Akala niya may nasusunog na puno, pero iyon pala ay ang presensya ng Diyos. Sinabi sa kanya ni Lord, ay tulungan niya ang iba pang mga tao sa kamay ng masamang hari o paraon. Ang pangatlong chapter ng Life ni Moses ay nanghatiin niya ang dagat. Napakamakapangyarihan ng Diyos. Ang sabi niya kay Moses ay itas niya ang kanyang tungkod at hatiin ng Panginoon ang dagat upang makatakas na ang mga tao sa pamamahala ng masamang hari o paraon. At nang makaalis na sila sa lugar na iyon, kinausap ng Diyos si Moses. Sinabi ng Diyos ang sampung utos niya na dapat sundin ang mga tao. Sinulat ni Moses ang sampung utos ng Diyos sa bato. Dahil noon ay wala pang papel.
Now for our assignment, isulat sa papel ang sampung utos ng Diyos. Makikita ito sa Exodus chapter 20 verse 2 to 7. 